Hey Forum, my name is Manny, aka Cascade Scents. Welcome to another video. In case it's your first time here, just know that I'm a longtime fragrance enthusiast on and off YouTube. So in case you're looking to learn a little bit more about scent and or are already into it, this might be the channel for you. Like the title of the video says, this one is on sexy designer fragrances that I think you should smell now. And part of why I'm urgently trying to get you guys to smell these fragrances is because some of these are a little bit more overlooked due to the brand and or the type of offering it is. And some people just think that maybe it's not worth smelling as much as things that they're immediately familiar with. Some of these are kind of hard to acquire as well in comparison to stuff that is easy to find at drugstores or at Sephora's too. But again, a little hidden gem can't hurt anyone and that's why I'm doing this video. So. I hope you guys enjoy the show. But we do have a lot to get through, so without further ado, we might as well get into it. Starting with the first one, it's by Chopin. It's called Rose Malaki. Now, part of the Malaki line, what this line is most known for is taking notes that are most famously done in Middle Eastern perfumery and making them as palatable for the Western audiences out there while still maintaining that Middle Eastern heritage among other things. So what I get here most out of Rose Malaki is that bright rose absolutes. Very, very pretty stuff, but it doesn't immediately make me think of feminine thoughts. I would say for the most part, this is a very unisex scent, if not one that leans slightly masculine. Part of why that is is because you get a little bit of saffron as well. And the saffron is typically used to sometimes overwhelm scents in Middle Eastern perfumery. But for me, I'm glad that they did here just because it is a little bit much at times to be fair so here you get that bittersweet slightly ambery spicy and leathery quality as well as far as how it hits your nose just enough of that bite i really really like and then as this thing ages on your skin you're getting a little bit more of that woods to come out as well which again just adds to how unisex this stuff actually is so i would definitely say check this thing out if you are looking for a more unisex approach to rose and or slightly masculine one. I know there's things already out there like Decoration d'un Soir by Cartier or things like L'Homme Tim by YSL, but I think this is genuinely a superior scent as far as the quality and as far as what you can also get it for. Right now it's going for quite the deal if you're looking at the gray market in comparison to actual retail, so I'm a big fan of that. So if you also like to save money, definitely pull the trigger on this. I don't think you're going to be disappointed again with at least the quality. That's if you're going for the value you're buying it at. But yeah, nonetheless, you know, I like it already. Once more, it's Rose Malaki by Chopin. Now moving on to the next fragrance that I think you should check out. This one is by Calm des Garçons, ex Andy Warhol. This is Andy Warhol's You're In. And to be fair, I was a little bit apprehensive of this scent here just because I'm starting to get more apprehensive of seeing Andy Warhol's IP everywhere. Whether it's in or out of fragrance, I just think that some of the collabs I see aren't always done that creatively and or with taste. But here, while the scent isn't reinventing the wheel or anything like that, I definitely think it is still evocative of the brand ethos, if that makes any sense. Andy Warhol's pop art for its time was known for its colorful, subversive takes on things that you were already seeing every day. So to see that approach kind of paired with the overtly synthetic approach of Comme des Garçons, I just think weirdly worked here. It was done very approachably, one that I feel like anyone can smell and be like, hmm, that's pleasant. And in the sun, I'm serious, I can see this definitely being quite the compliment getter. So you have some aldehydes and bitter peach in the opening just to give it a little bit of that uplifting vibe, kind of reminiscent of OG Chanel's. A little bit of a fresh spiciness from the coriander too. Makes it a little bit more interesting once it's popping in your nose. But ultimately, as far as the scent cloud that you are emitting, especially in the heat, you're getting a lot of that ambroxin. Ambroxin being that ambery musky accord that's most well known to be in things like Sauvage as of late as far as the blue fragrances go. But here it smells more like maybe a budget Lolabo. Like if you like stuff like another 13 and cannot afford something like another 13, this is definitely something I would pursue. Not saying that this is remotely a dupe or a clone or anything like that, but it's more along the lines of that synthetic sensual kind of accord, which I think is especially nice for close quarter situations, if you know what I mean. That being said, you're likely paying full retail for this one, unless you can get a code at one of its official stockists. Just because Comme des Garçons fragrances outside the pebble stuff are next to impossible to find discounted, so again, best of luck with you here. But in case you feel any better, again, I really believe in the scent, and I think it's worth it if you are into that, again, Lobo-ish style. So please don't hesitate trying to check this one out. Once more, it is 
any Warhols you're in by Comme des Garçons. Next up, we have perhaps my favorite scent on this list as far as scents that I think you should check out. This is the Cost Eau de Toilette. Now, if you don't know, Cost or Hotel Cost is a famous hotel in Paris known for their lounge, their music scene, and just overall hedonistic vibes. It's always been a dream of mine to be able to pull up there, but this is like the closest thing I can do for it right now. And I honestly think it's amazing. It's a different take on what I think a hotel would be able to smell like. Sometimes I think of just like OG cigar smell kind of just emitting from the walls of the lobby, or sometimes I just think of really clean like dryer sheets kind of vibes or something like that. But no, this is just its own different kind of animal. Off the bat, the first thing that I think of when I smell this scent, and it's not just because I'm looking at the bottle, I dead ass feel that way, is cinnamon hearts, like cinnamon red hots or something like that, the kind that you get during Valentine's Day. No, it doesn't smell cheap or anything. It's quite pleasant yet interesting smelling. And barring the clean vibes I'm also getting from it as well, it also makes me want to like literally bite my skin or wherever I have it sprayed because I think it just smells really good. The clean vibes is like a brisk kind of incense, if that makes any sense. It's a bright, not too smoky or burnt kind of incense, if that makes any sense. Like if you also like stuff by Comme des Garçons like Kyoto or Avignon, I could imagine you liking something like this. But again, it's a little bit more interesting for me here just because the scent is overall just a few different things that I think of in my head just all into one versus the perfumer was just looking to just do a church or a temple or something like that. So I genuinely think that Olivia Jack and Betty did a great job here making something really sexy or a fragrance that channels thoughts of sexiness and or just feeling bougie altogether. I love it. And if you're also looking for an alternative take on clean or incense, definitely check it out. It's Cost Eau de Toilette. Anyway, moving on to perhaps the most well-known scent on the list. This one is by Mezzo Margiela. It's called Beach Walk. And why I say the most well-known, I mean it's well-known amongst women because it is technically advertised for them, as you see on the bottle here. But that doesn't mean I think that you shouldn't check it out. Clearly it's on this list because I think you should. Sure, it smells kind of girly, but I'm just thinking genuine summer vibes and unisex, say if you are to wear this in the heat, which I think is when you would, given the name as well in Beach Walk. So to achieve that yummy vibe, you have a little bit of bergamot and lemon at the top, kind of reminiscent to the juicy kind of lemon that I would find in a fragrance like Bao Freak, for example, by Byrito. So if you like openings like that, I definitely can see you liking something like this too. So very juicy stuff. It just makes me want to be outside in the heat, like roller bleeding or something like that. I don't know for whatever reason that's what I think of when I smell a beach walk. You know you're out with your crew and perhaps you go for a dip after. Yeah, this. What's advertised as the transluzone as well, which is more like a Kalone in my mind, is really, really addicting off my skin too in the sun. I just think the scent cloud is really, really nice. And once it gets warmer and that starts to fade and you get a little bit more of that coconut milk, I think that's why a lot of people really like this and or also find it a little bit too effeminate. But overall, again, I wouldn't find this more girly than even a Balda Freak, which is technically advertised as unisex. And that's why a lot of times I don't really care for labels on fragrances, even if they're printed right on them. Does it smell good? Period. I think this one does, genuinely. And again, I get that coconut milk kind of vibe throughout the rest of the scents. Longevity, a little bit musky too, but nothing too intense, which you wouldn't want in the sun. But overall, it's just a nice, pretty scent that you're just going to immediately think of being transported somewhere nice, even when it's not for you, like, again, me because I live in Canada, it's super cold right now. So yeah, I can't wait for it to warm up and I can actually wear this without having too much wishful thinking and or thoughts. So I hope you check it out too if you've yet to. Again, it is Beach Walk by Mezzo Marta Margiela. And here we're almost at the end of the video. We're at the final scent that I think you should check out if you have yet to. This one is Mugler Cologne Take Me Out by Mugler, of course. Now this is another offering or flanker, if you want to call it that, in the new Mugler Cologne line. Of course, Mugler Cologne for many years was just a standalone fragrance, kind of like a gym scent or an Irish spring scent, also advertised as a scent for people who don't like fragrances. If you just want to be clean and not stink, that thing is really good. That being said, some of these newer Mugler colognes are also interesting or as wearable, or maybe as uninteresting and as wearable, which would also be a compliment if that makes any sense. And the one I like most is this one right here in Take Me Out. I think it is a really nice OB scent or orange blossom. Like OB's 
one of those scents that I feel like I would like to wear at a gym, for example. But some of those scents take themselves a little bit too seriously and or are just a little bit too complicated for what I just want to use that single note for. Like basically I want to smell somewhat citrusy but not too juicy, but something I can smell with enough bite at the same time where maybe I can't with an OG Mugler cologne because I just find that that stuff is so so light off my skin. And here, this one just kind of jumps off me, especially if I'm sweating in the sun. You also have a little bit of shiso leaf to add a little bit more of a minty-ish kind of vibe. Definitely helps with the longevity in my mind and when this feels less citrusy. Again, that's mainly what I'm getting out of this scent. And I just like it. I just think it's a really simple, easy wear and one that's easy to pass up just because a lot of people are just still so used to the OG Mugler cologne. And I can't blame you because it's a classic but doesn't mean that you should overlook the rest of these scents they're still adding to this line now but i think that this one is overall my favorite i know i sound sacrilegious by saying that but it really is the truth so if you two are also looking for a more ethereal orange blossom scent a more interesting yet safe enough gym scent then definitely check this out this one is take me out from the mugler cologne line and forum that about does it for me thank you for tuning in really appreciate it and it's that time of the video where i want to know what you guys think so please Please let me know in the comment section below which fragrance here is your favorite and or the one that you want to check out most. Can't wait to see what you guys have to say. That being said, if you really like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you also haven't yet. But on the flip side, if you also extra extra like this kind of content, also hit the notification bell because you'll beat everyone else to this kind of content who hasn't yet smashed that thing. So definitely do so, please. Until the next time, I think that about does it again. So thank you once more. Take care for now. Peace out. Bye. My name is Manny. Wear your fragrances.